Well, good afternoon. Look at that, beautiful. Lovely little waterfall there. We're back in Wales this week again. You know someone you were saying, get Paul over to Wales? Well, here he is. I do. I'm also out with Scott. Who, someone you might have seen before in me, uh, one of my previous videos, The Lone Explorer. Scott knows these uh, areas quite well. He's done a lot of Wales over the years. So, we're in a place called, where is it, Scott? The Rinogs. And we're heading up to Rinog Vowder, is it? Rinog Vowder. Rinog Vowder. Fora. <laughs> Fora. Rinog Fowder, it is from Yorkshire. Fowder. Yeah, so we're just on his way up there. Off up for another night of the course. Paul's just been getting a bit of footage down there. Scott's got his drone up there, getting some nice uh, aerial footage of this nice little waterfall here. Not too far to get up to the summit. A couple of hours or something like that. So we'll crack on. There we have it, getting a good view of where we're heading off up to. Rinog Vowder. I'm liking it so far. A little bit more rugged if you like. Like we've walked up through an old forest or summit here, there's lots of really big tree stumps. There's lots of uh, pines and other trees that have been planted in the places, a bit look on it. So in years to come this will be reforested again. Really big tree stump there, as I've just been saying. So there must have been some really big trees through here at uh, one time or another. And it's glad to see that they're planting all these pines and all these other trees. Plenty of blueberries or depending on where you come from, bilberries or windberries as I've heard them called. Quite high in vitamin C them, nice and sweet. So as we're making his way up here, I'm just trying to get some photos of these uh, windberries and stuff in this purple leather, and there's some like uh, yellow, like sort of bog or marsh uh, orchid or something like that, and see really nice little yellow flowers. But air's that still. There's no breeze at all, and midges are that. And I'm glad that just before I come out, I thought. I'm going to put my uh, minge net in, so I've, I've fetched my uh, minge net for my head. But we're hoping there might be a bit of breeze up tops. Fingers crossed. <sighs> nah, this is tough going. Because it's so close. No breeze. It's very close, very warm, sweaty. We've got a little bit of a boulder field to cross here. Bit of an ankle snapper if you're not careful. So we've reached a little lake up here. Or town, or whatever you want to call it. I think it's called Lindu. I hope I've pronounced that right. Some nice reflection in water. With it being that calm, it's nice and uh, flat. The water looks very inviting, but midge. Absolutely rife with midge. 
that's where we're going next. Up that right back of here, onto the top of that one. So as we're making his way around this lindo, we've just traversed this uh, slanted piece of rock here. And then what we're going to do is, I don't know if you can see, but we're going to make his way off up there. The path carries on that side at Tarn, all this lindo and up round that side. But what we've decided to do is have the shorter, more direct route up there. Bit of a little scramble, but just take his time, take it steady. Looks like it could be enjoyable. All you need is a midge to break your concentration, isn't it? Oh, we're finally here. We're in now get a vow to summit after a slight detour off the path. 720 metres. What a view it is from up here and all. Another little summit cairn there as well, I'll go over and touch. So it's about seven o'clock now. I'm gonna get these bags off because we're a bit sweaty. There's a little bit of a fresh breeze up here, which is very welcome. Keeping the midges at bay. The well, next thing to do is find a spot, hopefully, and get uh, shelters pitched up. Right then, well, we finally found a few spots apiece. It's quite a rocky summit on here and it's uh, quite low growing ever, like a low bed of heather but it's quite rocky underneath so I managed to find a little spot there. Paul's ended up right over there. Scott's just over there. But yeah it's been a little bit tricky to find a, a bit of a decent camping spot apiece. What's this St Paul 3 FU well gear? Tai G, Tai G, Tai, something like that, 2 person 10. I can't pronounce it. Tai, tai G or something? Yeah, it begins we'll with T, I think, and ends we'll with that, got a J and an I in it. Begins with T, we'll go with that. <laughs> Quite a big thing, isn't it? Loads of room, mate. Yeah. Quite an uh, impressive looking thing, that. And Scott's in the Durston X Mid 1. I really like this thing. Could be a future purchase, one of these. Really nice looking shelter that. Well, it's about nine o'clock now. We've had a bit of a faff with cameras and a bit of a natter, etc. Really admiring the views and I do like that view across to there. I think that could be my uh, next location next time I come up here. I really like the look of that. But yeah, we've uh, all fired kettles up. Got uh, a brew on go. I'm just waiting for my water to boil, get some snap on go and a brew. Because it'll not be long before it, uh, sunsets going down, not that we're going to get one. I don't know if you can see that, but looking straight out of it, course, there, that's all at sea there. I'm not sure which sea it is, but obviously it's the Welsh coast. So, yeah, I'm going to get this brew, get me to you.
tents now, it's 10 o'clock. We uh, had a bit of a callop at summit and that in Opa. We might have got a bit of a sunset, but we didn't get much of one. It's far too much cloud and it's really hazy. We had a, a little bit of colour in the sky, but not to shout home about. So yeah, I've just uh, stuck kettle on. A little bit of chocolate. And we'll be eating the pillar. I don't think we're on for a sunrise in the morning. Check forecast and it's going to be, going to be cloudy again in the morning like so. No alarms for sunrises. I'll just sleep through and get up when we get up. Right, well, good morning. It's uh, half past six. Had a really nice sleep there. Like I said last night, last off, we're having a bit of a talk up here, just at summit, me, Scott, and Paul. And we retired to tents, had a brew, a bit of chocolate, got me here down. It was somewhere around about half ten or something like that. Had a real good sleep there, real good sleep. Wind got up a little bit during night. Winds changed direction just a little bit, but uh, all in all, a really good night. Some real nice atmospheric uh, cloud this morning, as you can see. But it's a nice morning. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and get me sent a bit of breakfast, get a kettle on, and get a brew on. I think I'll set you up to get some time up so don't go on this nice cloud. Uh, well, we've had a couple of brews, we've been taking the views in. Brew with a view. Time to start packing up now. It's about quarter to eight or something like that. Scott's already dropped his tent, Paul's on his way. I've started packing a few things up my stove and stuff. Time to get my bag away and everything and start dropping tent. Now uh, that's it, we've packed up. Bag up back. Just about ready to go. That's where I walk, I leave no trace as always. Paul's about ready. Scott's all packed up ready. Just been getting some pictures of some uh, mountain goats over there. Some of them might get big long horns, so I'm gonna go and see if I can get some pictures of them. Apologise, there's not been as much talking on this one. It's been a bit more of a social one we uh, Paul and Scott on this one. We've enjoyed a, a good chat. But this is definitely a place I'm going to be coming back to, as I've said, for Wales. I'm going to get, uh, might even get some winter camps in up here. Pre-nogs, however it's pronounced. 
it's a beautiful area very uh, remote and rugged and this is going to be my last video for quite a while to be honest about a month I've got another week at work then I'm on holiday for two weeks and then obviously I've got a week at work to come back and then I'll be back into it so until I see you next time I'll leave you with that view absolutely stunning I'll see you next time thanks for watching